Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws located on the corners of the nameplate. Detach the boot from the nameplate by pulling the bottom of the boot away and over the retaining flange. Squeeze the boot up and remove the nameplate by pulling it up and around the boot. Remove the four screws at the corners of the mounting plate using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, squeeze the boot and fit the mounting plate up and off of the joystick. Make sure that one corner of the gate and VNSO body are marked. This will ensure that should the gate become loose during installation, the proper orientation of the gate can easily be determined. If the gate is not marked, mark one corner. Lift up the console cover and place the joystick through the mounting hole. Have the VNSO body rest on the edge of the console cover. Squeeze the boot and fit the mounting plate back over the handle to position it for installation. Line the mounting plate up with the mounting holes and install two screws on opposite corners with your Phillips head screwdriver. Once the two screws are stable, close the console cover. Add the remaining two screws and then tighten all four. Place the nameplate back onto the joystick by squeezing the boot up and guiding it through the opening of the plate. Reinstall the four screws into the corners of the nameplate. Lastly, Pull the bottom of the boot over the retaining flange on all sides to secure it in place. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit our website or contact us today.